What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to go over some of the latest updates from SoFi, go over the data points, everything that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So today it is currently down 0.93%. Very volatile day though, uh, low being $8.35, the high being $8.69. Give yourself a shout out if you did buy today but there is a little bit lower volume. So I don't know if anyone necessarily is buying because 20.92 million is the volume right now. 81.87 is the average. And of course, if you look right here, these are all the transactions that did occur, for instance, on the secondary market today. And the frequency has gone down quite a lot compared to any other day. Although there's a couple big ones. So 1.98 million, 2.84 million, and the majority of these are buys, but still, like I said, the frequency has gone down quite a lot options though options are still bullish because there is a grand total of 2.89 million dollars in call premiums that has been purchased versus 991,000 in puts which in reality the number of puts is going up as far as on a percentage basis so again just take that into consideration but still uh, no matter what though there is a huge amount of call options so when it is pulling back people are anticipating it to still trend higher and looking here so this is all the expiry dates the strike prices based on this it is still anticipated to go around the $9 range in the next couple of weeks. So again, options activity doesn't necessarily move the stock price. It is just merely a sentiment. But like I mentioned, just the volume and just institutions are not buying today. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Of course, what prompted all of this sell-off on a larger scale from the economy is Powell. So Powell did indicate that there might be multiple rate hikes coming in the future to combat inflation and just keep in mind and be aware that these rate hikes potentially and very much do help SoFi's underlying business so once again just keep that in mind but moving on from that as far as SEC filings there has been no real news or updates in that regard as far as press releases though there was something that did come out a new marketing campaign from SoFi so as you can see right here SoFi says it's time to change the face of finance and highlight women's financial success so they did do a uh, roughly about a minute and a half uh, video on YouTube so I'll play that at the very end I think in general that's fairly good and over and above that might actually help the member growth potentially go up but that might be a little bit far-fetched just to assume that but still in general I think this is a good move uh, from SoFi when it comes down to it I'll give you guys a quick overview of for instance what shorts are doing um, so of course with it going up as much as it did shorts oddly didn't really return any shares so I'll give you guys a quick overview of what they're doing right now so short score is currently 68 utilization is 75.5 percent and looking right here short surprisingly even though it is a little bit more of a red day they are returning 1.54 million shares 11.85 percent of the free flow is being shorted that works out to be 94.42 million shares overall being shorted cost to borrow average is pennies obviously 0.95 percent and just to put it all into to perspective currently there is 828.16 million dollars in shorts out there so in general if they are going to have another phenomenal q2 earnings which is going to be closing in around a week and a half or whatever it is then definitely i feel that this is something that cannot be ignored for any longer because a lot of analysts i think over the last couple of months have started to really jump on sofi's bandwagon but still very much hesitant about giving real true price targets and like I've said for a very long time I did see that this should be at least eight dollars and fifty cents and it's kind of funny that it did go there after me saying this for months and months but still at this stage it did go up very fast so coming from a technical standpoint it is well above a lot of the pivotal moving averages it is about to divert so the 50-day moving average is going to be above the 100-day moving average so that might actually give it a little bit of a pop but like I said, uh, you really need to watch Stochastic because it was very much overbought. It did cool off a little bit, but still at 62, I do feel it can go down a little bit more. But of course, that's just my own interpretation. Who isn't a financial advisor? You guys always do your own due diligence. Number of retail investors today have been flat. So of course, that's a pretty good sign. But over the last little bit, it, they have been getting out. And when it comes down to what to really watch for next, so with it being at $8.58, 
cents. It is currently between this R2 and the R3. So $7.72 is the next big strong support and $8.71 is that next big resistance. And of course, it kind of did balance exactly as far as the high off of this R3. So I do feel that it is going to consolidate a little bit more um, to probably around the low eights, in my opinion, if I was to throw a prediction, but still for it to go down to the eights, I think that might actually help it because it'll correct the stochastic back down to around 40. So make it a little bit more neutral. And from there, it can easily trend up. But once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Let me know you guys' thoughts on, for instance, Powell. Do you think he is going to potentially raise rates multiple different times over the, the rest of the year? Or what's your take on the overall economy? Do you think things are going to be trending down? Do you think things are getting better? What is your take on the broader economy? But over and above that, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And like I mentioned, in case you guys haven't seen it, I'll just play this quick little video, um, a minute and a half or whatever it is at the end. And with that said, let's all make a lot of money on SoFi. Pliviamo, pliviamo, nelieti calici che la bellezza infiora e la fuggevole, fuggevole, Sinebri ha voluto.